Here in the DMV or the DC, Maryland and Virginia area, we see seven beautiful woodpeckers. So today I just want to share footage I've captured of our local woodpeckers with some identification tips so you can easily identify these fascinating birds. And local wildlife photographer Ed Hass agreed to let me use some of his images of our local woodpeckers from his online gallery so we can better distinguish between the males and females. So firstly, you typically know you have a woodpecker if you see a bird vertically walking up a tree. A few other birds in our area that aren't woodpeckers are capable of this agile walking along trees, such as the brown creeper and nuthatches. The white-breasted nuthatch is an amusing bird to watch, often foraging downwards along a tree or in all sorts of odd directions. The brown creeper and the nuthatches are small birds and typically only confused with our smallest woodpecker, the downy woodpecker. So just noticing that the backside is black and white with some spotting will tell you you have a woodpecker and not a nuthatch or creeper. So I'll start us off with the northern flicker because it's just such a gorgeous species. That spotted breast is a great feature to examine for a quick identification. You'll typically hear a northern flicker before you see one. This species is quite vocal. The drumming on the tree is a behavior to mark territory, among other communications, such as with a mate. Out here on the east coast, we only get the yellow shafted subspecies group. The red shafted subspecies group is westerly, and there is a zone of introgression or hybridization between them. The yellow shafted flickers have yellow flight feathers as well as some slightly different colors and patterning compared to the red shafted flickers. Around the DMV we live on a range overlap between two subspecies of the northern flicker, the northern yellow shafted flicker and the southeastern yellow shafted flicker. The two subspecies are essentially identical in appearance, but the northern yellow shafted flicker is larger. Uh, since the two subspecies often interbreed, on this range overlap where we are, confirming a subspecies ID is rather impractical, so we just know that we have the yellow shafted subspecies group. The backside is also a great feature to look at for identification with the tannish gray and black barring. Both males and females have the red mark on the nape as well as the black bib. To tell males from females, just note that the males have a dark whisker, while the females lack this feature. The downy woodpecker is the smallest and most frequently seen woodpecker here in the DMV. This species often forages lower to the ground and on smaller branches compared to the other woodpeckers. Its small size lets it sit on branches that the larger woodpeckers just can't access. This female shows the typical colors and patterns of a downy woodpecker with the black stripes on the head and the white spotted wings and the white breast. And this lady is making a meal out of the termites in this tree. Both sexes look very similar, but mature male downy woodpeckers will have a red mark on the nape, while the females lack this feature. The hairy woodpecker is very similar in appearance to the downy woodpecker. Like the downy, the hairies also show a white breast, the black stripes on the head, and white spotted wings. Males of this species have a red mark on the nape as well, while the females lack that feature. So three great tips for telling a downy from a hairy are first just to examine the size. I like to compare these woodpeckers to our eastern chipmunk in terms of body size. The hairy woodpecker is larger, usually about the size of two of our eastern chipmunks, while the downy is roughly the size of about one of our eastern chipmunks. Next, just look at the bill length relative to the head length the hairy woodpecker will have a much longer bill. Finally, to be certain, just look for black spots on the tail feathers. The downy woodpecker shows black spots on the tail feathers, 
while the outer tail feathers remain white on the hairy. The red-bellied woodpecker is fairly common to see and hear around the DMV. I just adore the vibrancy of red on the head, as well as the contrasting black and white striped pattern on the back. And that back pattern is really the best feature to use for an ID. The contrasting white and black pattern stands apart from the northern flicker's black and brownish barring backside. And the red-bellied woodpecker's belly isn't all that red, usually just a smidgen or a very faint amount of red on a mostly pale belly. The males have a red crown and a red nape, while the females will only have the red nape, and the crown remains pale. The pileated woodpecker is the largest species of woodpecker here in the DMV, about the size of a crow. As we can see from Ed's photo, it's an impressive wingspan for a woodpecker. The very prominent red crest and the black back are great distinguishing features to look for besides the large size. Males have a red whisker while this feature is black on females. Also, the red crest on the male extends all the way to the bill while the female's red crest does not extend as far, usually leaving a grayish forehead. The pileated woodpecker drums very loudly and is fairly chatty just like the northern flicker and red-bellied woodpecker. The red-headed woodpecker is a rare species to see in the urban areas of the DMV, and I've actually only been able to get one on high quality video. So this bird was kind enough to sit still for 30 seconds of video before some red-bellied woodpeckers chased it off. The easiest way to tell this woodpecker from the red-bellied woodpecker is just to notice that the entire head of the red-headed woodpecker is covered in a darkish red while on the red-bellied woodpecker, only a part of the head is covered in red. Also, the red-headed woodpecker has a split back of white and black, which is a good feature to look at. Males and females of this species look similar, and the juveniles will not yet have developed any red on the head. The yellow-bellied sapsucker does have a yellowish to pale belly. This male is checking out his sap wells that he and other woodpeckers have drilled. So he's not only feeding on the tree sap, but any insects he finds along the way. If you see a birch or a maple tree with holes in it like this, then it might be worth scoping out to see if a yellow-bellied sapsucker comes by for a sugary snack. And this male is not feeding, he is drumming. Every morning, bright and early, he stops by this same tree to mark his territory. Yellow-bellied sapsuckers kind of usually look like they have a messy pattern of black and white on the backside. The crown is red on both sexes, and the white shoulder mark is also present on both sexes, a good feature to use for identification for this species. The males have a red throat while the throat remains white on the females, as you can see with Ed's photos. And I'll post a link below to Ed Hass's free to view wildlife gallery. He has hundreds of great photos of our local woodpeckers and thousands of photos of our local wildlife. And I also made a comical version of this video with Chubbs and Daisy linked below if you're into absurd humor. I wish you good luck finding and identifying your woodpeckers, spread some knowledge. Be nature heroic.